Hey guys, this is a video right after the tackle update. Like I said, I was going to do my whole tackle, my whole entire stuff I carry with me and I use most of the time. And I'm going to show you the three main rods I'm now going to be using. I restrung, fixed up, and everything. First of all, I have my bait casting rod, my only bait casting rod. I almost, I was fixing it, I almost broke it. Shakespeare. And I have Trilene Extra Tough 10 pound line on here with 30 pound Rapala, Rapala braid for backing. And then this is going to be for like Texas rigs, lighter Texas rigs, like cover for punching. Uh, and with like top water worms and stuff that work. And then I have. Let's see. I have this was in a previous video, but I have my the one uh combo. I got a at Magda Beach Shop here in Ohio. I restrung that with uh I don't remember. I, it's suffix eight pound line. I have a spool that I'm gonna be showing you. And this is gonna be for uh, like Texas rigs, heavier or lighter Texas rigs, like wacky worms, but I'm not gonna wacky worm. Like Cinco's Texas rig, Cinco's, those crawls for like just rocks, and um, and then I'm gonna show you what else I'm gonna use when I get into all my tackle. But it is a medium action. Or medium heavy action. And I have this rod with it's my Eclipse. It's my South Bend Eclipse fiberglass body rod. It's supposed to be catfish rod, but it's got enough backbone to use for well, it's got 12 pound line. That trying the extra smooth casting with that 30 pound bagging. And it's medium action, uh, medium action, 6'6, six, six, two piece. And then the reel is a good reel. I'm going to use this for lures that catch bigger fish, such as, and ones that catch lots of fish, because I like to muscle them in. I can muscle them in with this line. Like uh, wacky worms, I'll actually wacky rig them. Frogs, spinner baits, jigs, big crank baits, top waters, uh, those crawls for heavier punching. And those are my three main rods I'm going to be using for bass fishing, in my kayak or in the boat, or shore fishing. My bait caster sort of broke when I was trying to fix it, but it still works. Still bait caster, sort of. So now let's get into the actual tackle. First of all, I'm starting off with hard baits, like crank baits, little like uh, little like hard baits for bluegill, little like crickets and like top water. And the stuff I did in the update, if you guys are, have already seen it, is gonna be in here too. So, first of all, gosh darn it, first of all, I got this Rapala, uh, 4 inch with the diving thing on it, 2 hooks, excellent bait, 4 to 6 feet, that's good bait, I don't really use them much because I use like wacky rims more. And this is that other jointed bait I was talking about in the other video. Cray belly black back. Uh, five to eight feet, two trebles. I, re I replaced all the hooks on these except for that other Rapala. With this popper, I didn't have to replace hooks because I didn't want to because of that. But this is a mini little popper, two and a half inch. 
this is gonna go on my ride with eight pound test and these two will either go on the eight or the 12 pound test depending on cover and fish I'm catching. Probably eight because I can cast them farther. This is gonna go on eight pound line and catch the big fish, but it's gonna be fun running this big fish with eight pound line. So I've gotten a lot of fish on this down to the little pond I had did a frog fishing video on. It's got an eight pound leader so it swings better. And yeah, and then see that? That's that's like a fly. You know those little flies you use for fly fishing? It's like that, so you can catch a bluegill on that. I've actually caught a bluegill on that popper. Just popping it and then let it sit and then it'll come up and just bite that back. Yeah, I have this little red uh Crane bait thing. Caught some fish on it. Actually, when they blew up schooling fish, when they blew up on shed, toss it in there and just make it go under about an inch or so, and you'll bite that. That's going to go on eight pound test. And then this big crank bait, I had to I replace that back hook because it got rusted from another crank bait. And that from the, this hook is bigger and it came off of this so and that's ripped it's got 12 pound leader so it's going on my rod with 12 pound line and I've caught some fish on it I caught one down at Lake Erie on the shore he missed it flew it right up on the rocks he missed it threw it right back out there and came back and nailed it and then I have this and this came with that popper, and I don't remember what else came with it. But it's a little crawdad beat. Look how small it is compared to my finger. It's got little, like, teeny trebles. For bluegill, you can use this for bluegill and smallmouth. Smallmouth will bite that. That's going to go online with six pound test. And I have this little cricket. It's gonna go on six pound test. Too. I gotta find another hook to go on that. But it's got a back hook. So. Then I have. For those of you who haven't seen the tackle update yet. Here's this Rapallo. It's a five or six inch. Three hooks. I gotta change the hooks on this because these hooks are crappy and they don't have any split rings in them so I'm going to replace that 12 pound leader and it's either gonna, it's either going to go on my rod with 12 pound or 8 pound test depending on how easy it is to walk the dog so yeah just that if I can cast it with the 12 pound line, I'll cast it with the 12 pound line. But if I can't, then oh. And I have this little thing. It's like a torpedo. I'm going to use it to walk the dog. 12 pound leader. Uh, I re already replaced the hooks on it. And I have this for walking the dog. 12 pound leader. I already replaced the hooks and put split rings on it. I have a lot of tackle to go through. So, and that's just my crankbaits and hard baits and stuff like that. And then I'll just get over with my little swim bait. Next is going to be two of my spinner baits. I only have two spinner baits, two little ones. I don't use spinner baits, I don't buy them, I use mainly soft plastics and jigs. But, little one bleeding. Spinner bait, catch rock bass, crappie, largemouth, striped bass, white bass. I used that lake here and I caught a bunch of white ba uh, striped bass on it. We were on a school. A school of white bass at Lake Erie for two days in a row. We caught about 60 to 70 fish between two of uh, three of us. And then 
I gotta retie the leader on this because this is a six pound leader. But little one, another one blading. Swim bait. I almost caught a rock bass on it down in my little pond. So, my large mouth. Kill it. Bang, bang. Then I have my worms. I have. So these are nicknames. We have nicknames for this one. You know why? We name it Big Red. Because we've caught an friggin' 8 pound largemouth on this stuff. Except that I missed a, like a 13 pounder largemouth on that. Sick dude. Now I have a weedless Big Purple. With only 2 hooks. Big Red has 3 hooks. And it's got a 12 pound leader. So, now I have a big black weedless, big black, yeah, big black, that's right, 12 pound leader, two hooks, and then I have this frog, someone gave it to me, it's the Pad Crasher Jr., then I have, I have three jigs, but I only have two right now for this video. So I have this little flipping jig with a little worm on it. I trimmed the wee guard down. So Yeah. I think it's half ounce or three it's either half ounce or uh uh or three sixteenth or half ounce. So, and I have this, I turn the regard all the way down, it's got a little green pumpkin crawl on it, little jig, not bad, and I had another one, my stepdad gave me that, I caught a uh, like two pounder on, didn't even know I had one, and this is a 3 16th ounce, so I know that for a fact, and you can see that the regard's completely trimmed down. And that's all on my tackle, actually. I thought I had more, but I actually don't. But, um, I'm going to be going fishing, I think, later today. I'm going to be going, um, I might bring the tablet and make a video. Or just not make a video at the pond, because I'm not allowed to be there. But I go there anyways. So, um, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I don't know what it's going to be. I really don't. So, I'll see you guys in the next video.